Hey, free to play gang. Welcome back to another video today. Let's take a look at all the optimization changes that the game has implemented in 3.2.5. So this is going to be a really quick video. Let's start off with the multi battle. So right now we have more than just 10 multi battles. In fact, we can go up to 20 multi battles. But aside from that, we can also select the fixed amount of multi battles that we want to partake in, uh, starting from one all the way up to 20. So let's say I do 20 runs of this and we click enter. And as you can see, okay, wait. You can't see okay and as you can see we have a cap of 20 runs over here and this battery feature is still not available just yet now let's talk about some changes to how equipment looks like so let's start off with the presets here and as you can see we have uh, some of these uh, named presets so we have sienna unas nusi blah 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 but let's say i do not want to use sienna anymore i mean this is just hypothetical what i can do is actually instead of just deleting it because i might need her equipment i can actually just slide this to the left and I can rename it to, I don't know, some other controller as well. Let's say Longmian for example. And then by changing the preset name, you can save it and it will be now known as Longmian. Now aside from that, we can also sort your preset. So if for example, if you think uh, that this set is going to be more important or more accessibility is needed for this particular set, then you can of course move it all the way up or you can actually just pin it to the top. So quite a nice feature in my opinion, then we can also save the sort and it will show as 85 crit SDPS at the top. Now moving on to the equipment, here are some amazing changes. So there are a lot of differences pertaining to how equipment can be sorted right now. So as you can see, we can select the different sets as usual. And we also have our initial secondary attributes, which is extremely important because you want to filter for, let's say, flawless equipment. You can select four and you will only get flawless equipment. You can select three for superior equipment. You can select two, one and zero for, I would say, the grade of your equipment. So this is a very nice touch. But aside from just your basic filters, we also have attribute filters. Now, as you can see, we are taking a look at the first piece over here, right? The first position, the main attribute, it has to be flat attack. But as for the secondary attribute, let's say we want to have, you know, HP percentage. We want to have speed, but we do not want to have crit damage, for example. We can actually opt out of crit damage. And all of these equipment pieces will have HP bonus, it will also have speed, but they will never have crit damage, which is a very nice touch. So the thing is, I think when you upgrade this piece and let's say you luck out and get crit damage on it, then it will disappear from this filter itself. So the filter will take place instantly. So it's a very nice touch. I'm very impressed with this. It makes it a lot easier for you to select, you know, the ideal equipment pieces that you're looking for. And I didn't think that I would need it, but this deny feature is actually pretty helpful. And another major change, and let's say I'm just gonna, uh, let me just remove all of these other filters here. Let's say we are talking about speed, and we want to have the highest speed possible on, let's say, a win set. Then we can just go to sort by, we can actually sort it according to its secondary attribute. So let's say we select speed, this is what's gonna happen. This first piece here has 12 speed, it is the highest speed, followed by 12 again, followed by 12. Okay, and we have more 12 speeds here, and now we finally have 9 speed. So everything after this piece will be 9 speed or less. So we have 8 speed here, we have 8 speed again. So everything is sorted in descending order, which is very, very nice. It's going to be very easy for you to manage. Like, I don't know, you have a you have an ocean piece that is very far sandwiched down below. You would be able to instantly pick it up just like that. Now moving on, there is a difference in the way Blitz will now work. So for example, if you go to battle, you can go to settings over here and you can actually select battle settings and choose who you want to attack uh, in the boss fight, for example, right? So for example, if you want to manual boss battles, you can select manual boss battles, which we are not going to do so. And let's say if you want to select specific targets in the boss fight, let's say you don't want to target Kronos at the start, maybe you want to target uh, the tablet that pushes his AP. I think it's the right tablet. So you might actually want to select the blessing tablet and move him up to the top like that. Then your priority now is the blessing tablet followed by the suppression tablet and then Kronos. And the thing that has changed about Blitz is it will now also follow this format. So there are some players who actually wanted to follow that weird format which is targeting one of the tablets first before targeting Kronos himself. And so they are now just implementing it into Blitz. Or at least now Blitz will not just automatically target the boss 100% of the time. It will then depend on your specific selection over here. But honestly, it's kind of redundant. Now finally, some things have changed in the adventure screen itself, which is essentially just the naming convention of how it used to look like. So previously, it was Infinite Miracle. Now they have decided to do away with the Infinite Miracle name. And now we have Temporal Tower, we have Infinity Tower, uh, Calamity Island and Chaos Realm all within this page itself. I feel like this helps a lot because now I don't have to click Infinity Tower and then select the specific tower that I am interested in. Right now, I can just go straight into Infinity Tower itself. I think this is very helpful. 
So that about sums up the major optimization changes in 3.2.5. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Derry Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.